My name is Kevin. I'm here from Magoosh, and we're talking more about GMAT sentence correction questions, and specifically traps that are built into these questions. Um, right now we're looking at subject verb agreement traps, and this specific trap that is built into these questions is when the subject and verb are separated by a very long appositive, or sometimes it's just a very long phrase. Um, and the reason that they're doing this is just to confuse students, to really hide where the subject of the sentence is um, and make it more difficult for you to find the subject and match it with the verb. Um, so we have an example sentence here. It says, under the pen name Mark Twain, Samuel Langhorne Clemens, a humorist and author of world renown who traveled internationally giving speeches and claimed to write 10,000 words in creative flourishes is R, still widely read today. So there's a whole lot in this sentence that we don't have to pay attention to. Um, we have this introductory phrase here under the pen name Mark Twain, which we can ignore. And the main subject of the sentence is Samuel Langhorne Clemens. And so really, it helps to read this sentence without reading this phrase. And the phrase here starts with this comma and it ends with this comma. So we can just read the sentence, Samuel Langhorne Clemens, is still widely read today. Um, and so on the test, you may find that they underline just this, they'll underline this portion of the sentence, and that's what you're going to be looking at and trying to decide uh, what answer choice to choose. So remember, just ignore everything that's in between the subject and the verb. If you need any more GMAT tips, head on over to Magoosh, M A G O O S H.com forward slash GMAT, and we have lots of tips for you.